how excited are you guys just for the opportunity to take on a team like Marquette? Well, it's you know it's a good opponent. There's no doubt, and have them here at our place. It's uh, it's positive. I was one of the coaches. Uh, you know, a lot of people push for it for the, to get this Big East challenge. Obviously. Um, a lot of the leagues have now gone to 20 games, and we it's hard for us to go to 20 when you only have 10 teams. So with 18, now you got the SEC Challenge, Big Big East Challenge, uh, allows us to get a it, – it, and I know everyone says bring games here, but it's tough. Uh, it's tough to get teams to come to our place. Uh, you know, so this is – it's a good, you know, December game for us. They're a good team, beat us last year, NCAA team, and got one of the best players in the country. So it's uh, – a nice challenge. It's it, you know this to see where we're at. How, how tough is defending Marcus Howard? What are things you can do? Well, you know, one we got to keep him out the free throw line. We fouled him 13 times last year, and he had 20 some free throws. So, you know, that's big. But you know, and that's easier said than done. Uh, uh, he, he's smart. He knows how to play. He, you know, he not he can shoot the three. Uh, he knows how to use his body to get into you and to draw fouls. And um, you know, I think we just got to be solid on him. But I, I really think you know they won without him last night. So, uh, you know, they have other good players that can make plays uh, I think they're a little more versatile last year the Hauser twins were were very good but I'm not these guys are a little more versatile a little more put it on the floor a little better um, so now you got you're chasing Howard around and and now you get everybody going this way and then they drive you and make plays so it's it they're, they're good I mean and they played some some tough Tough games already. Um, they found ways to win some, and and obviously Maryland and Wisconsin was able to get them. I, I think I watched Wisconsin this morning, and they just fought them. You know, you got to fight them. It, it, it obviously that's their big rivalry game, and it was uh, you know a really hard fought physical game. And you know, I, I hope we can come with that energy and and that physicality that you that you need to to beat a quality team. How do you, how do you feel like Sean's played in general since he's been back? Well, I thought. You know, it, obviously he wants everything all at once, like every kid, young man. And, um, you know, I, I, I said, hey, you got three minutes, you know, be happy. And then you get five minutes if you do well, and then you get 11 minutes. And I I, I really thought he did a nice job for us in, in, in Florida. Um, you know, but my big thing is you can't turn it over. We can't put you in the game if you're going to turn it over, especially, you know, he had probably two or three unforced turnovers the other night where he just, like, why even try that? And so he's just got to become more solid. I, I've talked to him and David. I, I need another playmaker beside Cartier, um, you know, to get in the paint, to create, to do different things. And But I don't need turnovers. I need, you know, I need you to be solid. And um, hopefully one of them, I'd love both of them to come through. Sean gives you a bigger body. He's more physical. You know, when you look at Garden, you know, their guards, you need physicality. And, and that's what, you know, he can bring. But he's got to be solid, and and you know even sometimes too we not only do we turn it over, we take bad shots. So those are you know maybe worse than turnovers because a lot of times the bad shots hit the rim and they're going, and and now we're creating uh, transition opportunities. So um, yeah, I, I thought we made a little progress the other day. Um, you know, best field goal percentage um, you know that we've had, but uh, you know and, and some assists, twenty one assists. But that's got it. You know, you got to do that against a better team now, against better defense, and see if we can be a little more efficient. I think that's the consistent efficient will be real important for us as we move forward. They ruled Howard questionable last night. Are you at all planning on him maybe not playing? Well, I, I think we got to plan for him to to play. I mean, that's you know, it's just like anybody else, but. Um, you know, if he doesn't play, I, they still won. They still, still scored in the seventies, and and they got they have some talented guys that can that can make some plays. If Howard does go, do you think you'll have a primary defender on him? Well, I think you, I just kind of mentioned you got to have more than one option. Obviously, last year Barry lasted about six minutes, and then he had three fouls, and you know, one of them a technical, um, and and then Xavier, you know, got two fouls, and he might have lasted four minutes. So. Uh, you got to have more people on him. You know, you got to have a variety of people, and you're going to switch on things. You know, they put you in binds. They get you going one way, and they get a ball screen going. You're going to have to switch. So there's, you know, but you know, 
know, I think Mike Xavier are right now are you know two guys that are defensive stoppers. Uh, you know, Mike guarded him a little bit last year. Sean tried a little bit because we had we had you know we had so much deep foul trouble last year. We had to try everybody, but uh, uh, you know Xavier. Um, you know, because of his length and his athleticism, we hope that can be a factor. Uh, but I also want to keep – got to keep those guys on the court. So we got to be very, very careful on fouls. They can't overdo it. I, we we got to – can't get too hyped up. And we got to rely – we got to rely on everybody else in help position. Now when you make them pass, they are really good at – attacking long closeouts and that's where those other guys are so efficient and make a lot of plays how key is it to not get so hung up on on howard that you know somebody else goes in there well obviously if he gets 45 50 there i don't know you might check their percentage of winning probably pretty good so you know but at the same time last year if we don't let a couple other guys even if he gets 40 but we let those other guys get 16 that's now you're really you got yourself in the bind. Now you got to score seventy something to even have a chance to win. Um, you know, so it, it it's we we have to do a good. You know, like I, I just kind of the word solid. We got to be solid out and make them make tough shots, make them make tough pull ups, tough layups. Um, keep them if we can keep them off the free throw line as much as possible. You're not going to keep them totally, uh, but at and then. Uh, then at the same time, you know, do a good job on those other guys. It's important. I know I just asked you the same question two days ago, but but how's Monty doing? Uh, um, you know, he's made you know he's made progress. I you know I hoping for a text that you know hey let him practice today, but I, as of now I don't he hasn't practiced. But uh, we'll see. We'll he, you know I I think as I said the other day I'd say sooner than later, but. Uh, you know, we just can't push it and then have him, you know, uh, tear it again. And then all of a sudden now he's out for another two months and then you almost waste your whole freshman year. So obviously his injury did uh, was the reason why Antonio got a lot of minutes he has. But how is he what has he shown you to this? I, you know, as long as he's aggressive, you know, and I, I for the most part, he's done a nice job. Um you know he's he's uh, he's active. He's aggressive. You know we got it. You know if he gets those threes, he, you know, and a lot of times that's where you get people with the fours. You know replacing and getting some threes and things like that. Um, you know it, it he's got to make them. You know we it would be nice to get him where he's you know 30, 35 to forty percent, and that's what I've talked about. You know you're going to shoot those threes. You got to make them. You got to get in the gym and put the time in, and that's kind of been my challenge to him. That you know you've done well, but you know we need you to do really well, and and we need that commitment to come in and extra time watching film, extra time getting in shots up. Um, you know, pushing yourself. You want you want those minutes. Do something with them. Barry, from a leadership standpoint, obviously he was a vocal guy. Have you seen throughout the year someone stepping up? I think you know Xavier and Pearson have really tried to do a, a good job with that, and and. Um, you know, I, I think it's – I always said even last year, you know, Barry can do it, but he needs some help. He needs some support. Um, you know, it, it, it – you know, so it, it it's it's helpful for Xavier that he's got Pearson. Pearson been around it. He wants to win. He's just so team-orientated. So he can he can help you another voice. And slowly but surely we're getting Cardi to think about everybody else. And, and you know, but uh, – uh, you know, I, I, obviously, if that happens, that now you get your point guard that has awareness and f- helping everybody. It, it it would be a good thing. What have you liked from what you saw from the league so far this year? Uh, I, 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 inconsistency, to be honest. I mean, it's pretty obvious from the you know. But when you know, it, it it's the Pittsburgh game. He has great numbers and he's plus sixteen, but he only plays eleven minutes, five fouls. You know, um, then uh, you know, even the other night, he he seemed. Uh, I don't know. He did very careless, casual passes, turnovers. But then you look at his numbers. He still had, yeah, I think it was six rebounds. He was, you know, did some things on our play, our chart. He, you know, he, um, but we just, we need him to be better. I, you know, he, he was in, I came back over here 1030 the other night. He was in here shooting after the game. So it means a lot to him. I think sometimes the, 
Uh, people don't realize that stress and pressure on a senior to do well is 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 a lot. And and you know some some guys can deal with. It. I'm just I've talked to Xavier a lot about just relaxing, enjoying it, make the most of it. All you can't control next, you know what's going to happen in April, May, June next year. You can control what happens every day, and that's all you can worry about. And it's the same thing with Mac. Oh, about Devontavious, with him, if they came to you before the game Saturday and said he can play, would you do it? I, you got to practice. Okay. Yeah, I, I got to practice him. And, you know, I was hoping for a nice text this morning. I was on the road recruiting and, you know, flew back in. But, uh, you know, as of now, I don't have a text. So, Is, is that different than if, if this was Dean last or something? Like, in terms of if, if it's an upper class? Well, uh, like Dean, that? you know, yeah, Dean practiced literally one day, a half a day before we stuck him in against Iowa State, and you know that again, that's different. He yeah. he knows what's going on. I you yeah, know that's what I meant. yeah, that, you know just and it's gonna take him, you know it's gonna take him a couple of weeks again to get some rhythm back and catch up with everything. So, um, and you know we'll 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 see. I, I it's it's sad, but it's you know it's injuries are part of it and. You know, I guess in the long run, Antonio gets more minutes, get, hopefully get some confidence. Some other guys got some minutes. And, you know, now they they take advantage of the opportunity. They're going to help us down the road. What are your thoughts on where the defense is at right now? I think it's top 20 in scoring defense. Yeah, it, it's it's good. I'd like it a little better. We had, obviously the slip up against Bradley. I you know I don't know exactly why, but uh, um, they they can be good, but we can be better. And and it's kind of the challenge I've given them now that we got to have some identity where we give ourselves a chance to uh, to win every game, and they got to take some really pride in that end because we we are good, and we but we could I think we could take another step. And, you know, some of it is, uh, you know, if our offense is turn it over or bad shots, now they get transition, that, that hurts your defense too. And so, you know, the, Virginia always leads the country or one of the tops. Some of it's because of their offense that they, you know, they make you know, one long possessions. They don't take quick shots. So now they don't allow teams transition. So that's that's always you know that's part of it, and I I don't want to slow it up, and you know I because we have enough trouble scoring as it is, but uh, uh, you know at the same time we got to be solid and efficient and take care of that basketball. When you look at some other things, defenses have done well against Marcus Howard. Is there anything you can copy and try to do yourself? Um, you know, uh, Shane's at Robert Morris. They did a good job, but they got two fouls on them. Uh, Maryland, you know, I think length. Staying in things, length, you know, it, it's pretty common sense. It, you know, Trey Young, when you you were able to stay in ball screens and make it, make it, don't give him space. He's so good with space. When you, if you're not up there on that ball screen and he's allowed to snake and go, he he's so good because he can pull up, he can get to the hoop, he can make the pass. He he just does so much stuff. So the more we can keep him, you know, where we have eyes and bodies in front of them, it's it's gonna help us. How would you compare him to like Trey Young or other elite scorers? I you know I, I you know the one thing Trey did was Trey was a lead passer when we had NBA guys come and talk to us about him the one thing they always said I'm not sure he's going to be able to score like he you know has scored but they felt like his passing was so high level now Howard scores probably doesn't have quite the passing ability that Trey does but he's still he's he's still fairly good I mean that's um, and I'm not. You know, we'll see if he has an NBA career. I, I, I think he's got the, he'll have the opportunity because he can do. You know, again, he can with space. The NBA allows space, and he can make a lot of plays. Do you feel any any pressure to wear something cool on Saturday, knowing the uniforms? So <laughs> um, we did. We have a throwback tie and some. You know, I, I we kind of talked a little bit just wearing one of the white new. Polos and some men's shoes, but we're we'll just we'll just go with the regular stuff. I think so. Don't I dress nice all the time? Oh. <laughs> I, know, I know you might be trying to get one more 2020 guy in the class, but with four guys already committed, how is it? What is it like to be able to just focus on 2021 and 2022 going forward? Really? Um, you know, it, it like I, I I think the big thing we got to find one more. I think for our 
depth with especially big guys uh, with the injuries. And so that's our immediate focus. But then now after Christmas, we can start, you know, getting to see some of the younger guys, which we haven't been able to all, you know, a lot of years because you're scrambling around. So it's it's nice. I'll try to see every – I saw um, uh, Davion last night and, and I actually saw Luke and um, practice. And, you know, try to see all – we'll try to see all those guys here in December just to make them feel good that we still care about them around them and watch their success. Sultan's had a great start. Uh, Davion's, you know, they won two games by 40 and 70 or something. But And then Nigel won by about 100 the other day. So, uh, But he's got – Nigel's got a big game Friday night. It's a big rival game. And it'll be, you know, good for him. And then Luke starts next – gets going next week. So so it's it'll be fun to watch them and their progress. And um, – but at the same time, we, yeah. you know, I guess the, the the best thing is we can hopefully focus on our team a little more and, and not have to worry about some other guys. Given how hard it can be to get teams like Marquette to come to Bramlage, how nice is it to actually have a game? Yeah, they asked about that early. It's great, and that's part of that Big East now. You're going to eat. The only thing I don't like about SEC is we're they're still in January. And we, I want a good game in, in – um, in this early part and and that you know i've said it to them i don't know obviously i'm not going to win but um you know i i would love either sec or big east game at home in december every year that would be really nice for us um you know but it, it's great it's you know good for us and you know hopefully a great crowd um excitement with the with the throwbacks and a lot of good stuff around it now we have to play well that's all that other stuff doesn't matter